Hello and welcome to the next tutorial or run through of taking something through from 3ds Max 2008 into MovieStorm. Um, we'll be looking at animations this time um, with a fairly simple looping animation ends up where it started um, on that character that you've seen before. Let's start by setting up the folder structure the same export demo folder that I've used before if you've seen the costume and the accessories videos it's all familiar uh, basically we'll be using export demo data puppets mail01 and we want to create an animations folder um, we'll just save it into there if you're doing a lot of animations you'd want to probably group it into another subfolder under that but we'll leave that for now um, when exporting animations, if it was a new object, obviously you would want to export the skeleton, but we're just doing a, an animation for an existing puppet, male in this example, so all we need to do is export the animation. The first thing to remember, make sure you're at zero on the timeline, otherwise the Cal export will recognise that you've got an offset. Um, so we'll go to File Export, and we will select the Cal animation file format, and we will find movie storm add on export demo data puppets mail one animations uh, what we call it export crouch start now what I'm doing here is I'm splitting the animation into two parts and it's very simple as you can see there's a keyframe at 0, keyframe at 50, keyframe at 100. All I'm doing is splitting it into two, par two halves. The first half is the crouch down, the second half is the stand back up. The reason for that is if you want to have it in MovieStorm so that someone crouches down and stops, does whatever they want, and then later you put in the follow-on animation where they stand up again. So we'll, as I say, save it as export crouch start. It'll ask which skeleton you want to use as usual. Again, as always, we're using the add on core data puppets mail01 mail01 skeleton. Hit next. It'll show you all of the bones that this refers to, which are just the list of the ones in the skeleton. And then it'll ask you a few more, more important questions. First one how long, what part of the animation do you want to export? We want 0 to 50 as you can see on the timeline. Um, there's no displacement, that's where it would actually show you if you had an offset and um, we'll leave it as 30 frames a second. Right, that's the first animation done. The second one, file export crouch stop and that'll be the standing up. So for this one we obviously want frame 50 to 100, no displacement and off we go. And that's it, that's all you need for Max. So one last look at him doing what he's doing there and we'll go to the Modders Workshop. Here we are, in Modders Workshop. Um, so we want to go through the animations. Now, because I dumped it in just the animations folder, it should be just there. We see the crouch start and stop, and if you hit play, you can see he does the start one, and then he does the stop one. So with the start one, we want to quickly set up the um, state machine information. This is, you may have seen the state machine and verbs files in the data folders. This is where the state machine gets set up. Um, basically, we want to tell him what his start and stop poses are so that they can be slotted in nicely to the way MovieStorm works. Um, this is a posture that we'll be doing from the ring menu where you pick what people do. Uh, it could be a gesture if it was just like a hand wave or whatever, but yeah, we'll go with a, a posture here. So we want to start with idle. He's in an idle pose, just stood like that. And he will finish in a new pose, which we will call export crouch. Don't think it matters if it's capitals or not, but let's just do it like that for now anyway. Um, and we want to ex this to affect everything about him, the whole torso, arms, legs, skull, but um, not the face. 
because we want him to be able to act while he's doing this. Um, now, if we wanted it to, if if we were happy with the way that he moved into the crouch pose, and we wanted him to get out of it without using the stop that we've put in, you could simply click include reverse, and that will that will automatically reference this animation but play it backwards. Um, but because I've deliberately put in an extra bit of motion on the reverse, we will have different ones. So don't click include reverse on this one. It's only affecting the male because we've only got it in the male folder. If we created a female one with the same name and everything, that would recognize that and appear down there. Um, so we're saving that as that is. And that has put that in the right place, hopefully. Um, with that done, we will now do the stop, which you, hopefully you are paying attention. That that was export crouch and it ends back how it started in idle. Again, tick all except face. We're not using reverse for that, so we save that state info. And that's the state machine setup. Right, the next bit is the verbs. And we want to start by creating a new character solo verb. Here you can see all the other options that you can the other options for creating different animations in MovieStorm. They get very, very complicated. Um, hopefully we'll get some kind of guide officially written. But yes, so we'll go with the character solo for this because it is just a single character doing his own thing. The menu name is how it appears on the ring menu. So we want posture export crouch. That is how it will appear on the ring menu. Uh, the sub oh, Let me just open that. Excuse the low res window, it's for the capture. Um, subject is not... If, if we're doing male and female animations, we just leave it on any. Um, but this is obviously just the male. So we select subject of male. If it'll be good enough to do that. There we go. Um, and now we need to find the state machine anima uh, the animation. Sorry, I'm just trying to remember off the top of my head what we actually saved it as. Uh, it should just be under E then, shouldn't it? There we go. Um, so yes, we need to save out the animations. Uh, make sure that you're in the current add-on at all times. We save that one. And then we do the stop, hit save, and that's it. I think we're done. I say that because I'm never entirely certain about this. There's so many complexities of animation. Um, but yes, right, okay, well we're done with that. The state machine and verbs have been saved. In theory, I've got it all right, and we will now publish that and go on to the set in MovieStorm to hopefully see it. So log in with your publisher details and hit the publish button and you're done. I'll see you in MovieStorm. Right, so here we are back in MovieStorm and fingers crossed our animation is as simple as posture uh, export crouch start. There we go, took me a minute to spot it. So there's the start animation. Um, if we had clicked that in have a reverse, he would simply have the option to um, export reverse there, and he would basically just do that. But um, because I've put a stop one where he goes that way, he can do that. There you go. That is creating your own postures. Um, as I say, there's far more to consider doing with um, setting up, setting them up as gestures, doing interactions and all things like that. It's um, a lot of things to document, but hopefully we'll get um, around to it eventually. Or you can. With um, Yeah, right, well we're done. Ta-da. <laughs>